All right, so I'm gonna regret this, but today on Mario Kart Wii CTGP, we are going to be picking the absolute worst vehicle in the entire game. Now, who to play as for that worst vehicle? Well, let's go Keen Boo. Today we are playing in the one and only Jet Setter. Look at that top speed, look at that handling and that drift. Oh, that doesn't look so good. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna regret this one, but here we go. We are off to the Luigi Fireball Cup. Green Fireball Cup? I think it's the Luigi Fireball Cup. We've got GBA Luigi Circuit, Woohoo Mountain, which is 3DS Maka Woohoo, I'm sure, Dream World Cloudway, and Haledo Volcano. I don't like the sound of that last course, but... Oh boy, I really hope... The Jet Setter can take these turns, because if it can't, we are in a lot of trouble. Jet Setter's the worst vehicle in the game, because it has speed and nothing else. And we're off to GBA Luigi Circuit. I mentioned in a the last video that I thought Lakeside Park was the weakest Super Circuit track. I was wrong. This is the weakest one. It's like, hey, what if you drove in, like, an abandoned airfield with puddles? And that's making it sound better than it actually is. I like the ripple effect the water has here. Oh, okay. Thus far, the jet setter, I guess. This is, it's, it's slightly worse turning than the sprinter, but it's not... It's not... So, oh, no. Okay. No, that's... That's, that's where we're going to get a... That's where it's going to be bad. Yoink. Oh, I threw it in the puddle. Don't hit the puddles. You will spin out. Oh, you jerk. Thankfully, I had a mushroom so I can get back up to top speed. Is Bowser also in the jet setter? I was debating playing as Bowser, but... Oh, no. Not, not the bullet bill. Not Artillery William, please. Oh, lord. Okay. <laughs> There's just a barn hanging out. This is... Okay. We're in first. There's that one turn that's a real doozy in the Jet Setter, but beyond that, the rest of it's doable. I think it's this turn that's the doozy. Oh no, it was that one. <laughs> if you turn as tightly as you possibly can and then immediately start drifting in the opposite way, you can make it. Just barely. But you'll notice, like, even with my insane top speed, I'm still barely keeping ahead of the rest of the pack. And I'm not sure if that's just Keen Boo is a sucky character or not. I, had, I don't know where Keen Boo ranks on the character tier list. I also don't know how much of an impact the character tier list actually makes. I know people always pick Funky Kong and Daisy because they do have the highest speed stat, but I'm not sure. Again, I've played this game for years. I genuinely can't really tell a difference between the characters. Then again, when I played this growing up, I always picked the Miis. Because why would I play as Mario and Luigi when I could have an epic four-way race between the Count, Barack Obama, Arthur, and our pastor? I mean, come on. You, you should know which one we're going to pick. Alright, blooper covering my car is actually going to be a little bit annoying on this track, but we'll manage. Oh wow, now we have a breakaway, jeez. I guess our top speed added up over time, cool. Alright, I guess score one for the Jet Setter, it actually rocked on that course. But then again, that's also a relatively simple course. Okay, that one... That one was, yeah, about the same as it was in Super Circuit. I like the dark clouds on this part of the course, and I like the ripple effect. It's just a very basic course, though. Not much to say about it. Okay, now we've got Maka Woohoo. I don't know why Mario Kart 7 randomly had, like, a bunch of Woohoo Island courses, but whatever. Maka Woohoo was the best out of all of them, so... We'll see. Uh, we'll see how well the Jet Setter handles. So this is gonna be... A one giant lap course. As you can see, yep, only one lap because look at the size of that map. Look at the size of that mini map. Okay, the pathway is narrow. We did not widen it for 12 players. 
That's a bit of a shame. Oh, baby Peach, you going down. Hi, Mario. Oh, what? That flew over my head. I actually kind of don't want the drift, the draft boost. I said I don't want the draft boost. Well, that's unfortunate. Darn it, I should have waited until after glowy pants over there stopped glowing. Oh well. Give him a, a, head. <laughs> a leg ahead, I guess. Oh, you jerk, Mario. You tried to knock me off a cliff. I don't appreciate that. Hey, Koopa. Eat my dust. Is that Waluigi riding Wario's bike? I don't remember all the alternate paths on this course. Also, it's weird having the Daisy circuit music here. Move it, Waluigi. Jet Setter King Boo coming through. That's normally where the final lap starts, because in the 3DS game, it's still one giant lap, but it's divided into three sections, so it'll still say, like, final lap. Nice. Okay. I'm sick of not having power-ups, so thank you. Oh, great. And I get the worst power-up. So this is the part where normally you use a the, gl the glider to move up. Normally you glide down here, but... Well, and now I'm going to lose because of a single blue shell. Oh wait, no I'm not, because somehow, for some reason, Waluigi's like, hey, Yeah, this is the way to go. Apparently, if you reach the end, it counts like you fell off. Okay, I think we hit Bowser with the red shell, and then Waluigi's just like, I don't want to beat King Boo. I'm going to break and let him pass me. Uh, thanks, Waluigi. I appreciate it. <laughs> I got your back, man. Okay, well, that worked out. Thus far, the Jet Setter is being a lot better than expected. Now we've got Dream World Cloudway. Uh, it looks like... <laughs> that one icon, it looks like the Target logo during the month of June. And that's not a compliment. This is a weird one. There's an inside forest and clouds and like a mini rainbow road. I don't like that very sharp turn coming up ahead. Oh, no. Great. Bouncy mushrooms. Just what I did not want for Christmas. Okay, so now it turns into rainbow road. This is bizarre. But I like the creativity. I do not like them trying to hit me with stuff going back. Wow. And now we're all of a sudden we're driving through the upper peninsula of Michigan. In the summertime. And now we're in Bowser's Castle. So apparently the developer of this level couldn't decide on a theme. So they, they had like three... Okay. That's weird. Like, what are you even doing there, bro? Oh, what? Oh, I... What the heck is this? This course is nuts. It literally feels like you couldn't decide what theme to give the... You had, like, three different ideas, so you just picked all of them. And then threw them together in one track. Wait, what? This is off-road, apparently? Even though it literally... What? This is, like, all off-road. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I see what you're trying to do here. It just, it doesn't work well. Especially when it's like, oh, you just went for an invisible floor. And of course, you know how I feel at this point about bouncy platforms. Dirk, we heard you hated bouncy mushroom platforms, so we replaced the mushroom texture with a cloud texture. It's totally different now. It's like, it's not what I meant. This is so weird. Like, this doesn't fit together. It's like the new test track at Disney World. It's like one second we're in like a facility, or like one second we're in cyber cyberspace. The next we're like outside in the real world with no transition. It doesn't work. This is kind of cool. So that's like a giant boost pad. It looks like a DK cannon, but it's like a boost pad over an invisible floor. So that's kind of cool. I don't like how you go up like a ramp and then it's just like, oh yeah, now now you're uh, now here you are. Now you're going through an invisible floor. 
Hey, for once the blue shell didn't hit me. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't like that. I don't like that. You put a boost ramp right in front of an edge. No, no, no. no. Okay, you know what, Baby Daisy? I'll let you pass. That's fine. Another blue shell. Wow, alright. Yoink! Oh, is that Waluigi behind me? I hope so. Waluigi let me win last race, so if he wins this race, I'm okay with it. Wow! Now, see, this is the Mario Kart Wii that I remember. Where there was, like, one or two blue shells every single lap. Ah, uh, thank you, inconsistent drift controls. Oh, you didn't have enough speed, so your drift just doesn't work. But there's no visual indicator if it'll work or not. Well, I could go for another bullet bill now. It, was that another blue shell? Take that. Alright, let's try to get a power up up here. I saw that green shell. I'm like, I better use it now. Okay. This is the part where they try to surprise you with the unfair turn. Right there. Oh, Waluigi! Go, Waluigi! What? Okay, that's terrible. It literally dumps you off-road. Okay, third place, you know what? I'll take it. That course was a trip and a half. Wow. Um, again, some interesting ideas. I think they could be executed a little bit better. The transitions could be a bit more seamless. And I I honestly just don't think these like five completely different themes work together cohesively. But there's also a couple of rough spots like it dumping you off-road and a couple of weird turns. But other otherwise, I think on the whole, it was fine. I'd probably enjoy it more if I was not in the Jet Setter, so I fully acknowledge that. All right, now we're off to Haledo Mountain. Yeah, this is about what I was expecting. That looks like a very friendly and inviting place. Just such a warm atmosphere. A little warmer than I was expecting, I gotta admit. Although, with a name like Haledo Volcano, you can't be expecting a whole lot else. All right, this looks like a monster track. All right, Grumble Volcano music, which makes sense. Oh, no, 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 no. I held break with all my might. That's evil. Why do you make it so that we cannot re Why did I not get the boost there? Why do you make it so that we can't react to the turns fast enough? Oh, no, I see that. It's going to be a weird snake shape. Uh, oh my gosh. All right, here we go. Get me through these tight turns. Sorry, Yoshi. Apparently this lava is not lethal. I like the I like the color scheme, the palette for this level. I'm not tricking over any top of us some hill that I can't see what's beyond it. Not anymore. Uh Okay. Well, that was a bit of a roundabout way to go after Bowser. Oh, that was a risk. I could have fallen in there. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, this part of the track's pretty cool. I like the boost panels. No, Waluigi, I'm sorry. I actually didn't... <laughs> Waluigi's act of kindness to me in the second race has really touched my heart. Okay. Waluigi... I'm actually kind of grateful for the lightning there. Okay, Waluigi, I care about. Koopa Troopa, no. Who let, who let the Koopa in first? Oh my glarge! Okay, I'll try to pass this to Koopa. It's a freaking banana peel. Yeah, Natch! 
I got you, Waluigi. Oh! He shrunk at the worst possible part. Come on, Waluigi. We go. We ride. We are united in our dislike for Luigi. Okay, I can't remember which way we went last lap, so I'll go to the left this lap. I think we went to the right last lap. I have no idea which way it might be faster, but okay. We got some real tight 90 degree turns that I can't make. Okay, we're going on the right from now on. That way might be... Higher. Okay, there is something weird. It is not letting me get the boost when I drop down as the jet setter. I'm hitting it at the right time. The timing must be different. No, Waluigi, I'm sorry. Bowser? No. Okay, it always looks like... Wow, a, a lightning happened on that lap at the exact same time as it happened on the last lap. Come on, what do we do? Rubbing arms, we will run. Wah. Alright, is this... Uh, there might be a cut you can do there with, like, a special power-up, but I don't have it. Eh, probably not, actually. Oh, no, okay. Different uphill part that I was thinking it was. Waluigi, please stay in second. I'm almost more invested in Waluigi's placement than I am in my own. Oh, no! Okay, Waluigi, if you win first, that's fine. Okay, yeah, I held, I held the accelerate button earlier at that point than I did previously, and that seemed to work. Okay. Not sure if that's a jet setter fan or just a heavy guy fan. Okay, I gotta say, Jet Setter is working out a lot better than I was expecting. I still think it's the worst vehicle in the game, but... Uh, actually... No, I think I actually might like the Jet Setter more than the Spear. At least with the Jet Setter, I know what I'm getting. The Spear, it feels like it's completely random turning and drift every time you use it, so... There we go, 55 points. No! Koopa Troopa beat Waluigi by one point overall. At least Waluigi gets a trophy. Stupid Koopa. Oh, well, en enjoy it. Enjoy it, Koopa. Enjoy it. Dun, dun, dun. And we get first place. A C rank? What? How did I get a C rank in this rank, in this cup? But in the cup last, in the Yoshi Egg Cup, I did terribly and got a B, uh, B rank. I don't get it. It's almost like it doesn't make sense. All right, well, those were, those were some pretty good races. The Luigi one and the, like, Cloud one were... Okay, the other two are pretty fun. The only issue I had with Haleto uh, Mountain was that one turn that was right at the top of a hill that you couldn't see. But regardless, so at this point, I think we're gonna play as Baby Mario, Baby Mario because we're gonna be in the Cheap Charger. And Baby Mario has a red Cheap Charger, which is the correct color. This is basically the polar opposite of the Jet Setter. It is the lightest vehicle in the game, or second lightest. Lightest cart in the game. All right, we're now on the Pencil Cup. I don't know why the Pencil gets its own cup. That's not a Mario power-up. But we have Windy Whirl, Suzuka Circuit, Forest Creek, and Dragonite's Island. I've played on Dragonite's Island, and it's nuts. But I'm looking forward to it. All right, four, four unique tracks. I can't wait. I like getting the retro tracks, but I also really like getting the, the new custom tracks. Windy Whirl, ooh. It's, uh, I, okay, so we're in a big city. Oh, we're in Chicago, hence all the wind. <laughs> Get it? Hopefully there is less gun violence here than it, there is in Chicago. Oh, <laughs> political. Anyways. It's not political, just in fact. There is a lot of gunshot violence in uh, Chicago. Okay, so when you're in the cheap charger, your top priority is you do not want to get bumped by another uh, kart racer, because you will go flying if you do. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. Oh, great! And my main competition is a is Donkey Kong in the off roader. That is almost about as heavy as you can get. Cool. Oh man, I barely had enough speed to get over that. This is crazy. Kind of dig it though. All right, Donkey Kong, you're taking that power up. I'll get this one. 
Oh, that is unfortunate, Donkey Kong. Oh, it's Waluigi Stadium music? I thought it was uh, either Moon... I thought it was Moonview Highway music. Oh, someone is throwing fake power-ups at me. If you, if you want to uh, give me applause, then throw money or flowers or candy. Not fake power-ups. Otherwise, that sounds like you're like a fake fan. Oh, but... Okay, this is a weird concept for a course, but it's kind of fun. I like the uh, the texture of the road is pretty cool. I like this like gold road. It's pretty cool. Oh no no no! But but. Well, at least I got good acceleration. Oh, I see. There's like a special ramp you can go on if you take it. You get it right. Oh no! I missed the power ups. The jank. Uh, who's that ahead of me? Okay, it's somebody. Is that Baby Peach and the Quacker? No, it's Dry Bones. Okay. Because I've had enough of Baby Peach being annoying. It's Dry Bones' turn to uh, be annoying. I like the little fans in the power box. I guess you could say I'm a fan. That was obvious and dumb. I can think of a more clever one. Oh, no! But I'm the cheap charger. I should be able to fly. I have wings. Okay, now I see that's just completely uncalled for. Also, wow, I think Waluigi just crashed head all into a wall. No, 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 no. Oh, thank goodness there, there was an extended hitbox. Oh, hey, I'm surprised I grabbed that. I fully expected that I had missed them entirely, but cool. Lead. Okay, well, I wasn't able to take the alternate track ever. Oh, come off it! This is not Mario Kart 8. Green shells should not lock on. How did I miss that again? Okay, there's like some wonky physics at the end there. Where, like, it pushes you away from the power box. That, or I'm just racing badly, which is probably that. Oh, Yoshi. It's a close one. Stop it with the freaking green shells! Are you kidding me? How many green shells did I get hit by in that race? I lost count after six. Wow, well, okay. That course was alright. Again, probably me getting fifth has clouded my opinion of it a little bit. I think it was a cool idea. I, I like where it was going. I think it just... I don't know, there was just kind of a lot of straightaways. But hey, nothing wrong with that. I think that was a fine course. All right, moving on. What was the next one? Ah, oh, Suzuka Circuit. Is this like... Is this like a Tekken race? It looks pretty basic. It looks like just kind of... A, like, road that you test drive cars on. But let's see. Yoshi on the dolphin. Okay, how is Dry Bones racing that fast when he's in the Quacker, which is like the slowest vehicle? Okay, not quite. Booster seat is obviously the slowest. Quacker can is able to wheelie. Okay, I hate how everybody has green shells and are just holding them behind them. They know my weakness. Oh, it's a two-lap race, so this is going to be a big course. I mean, I like the scenery. Looks nice. Just seems like uh, your typical... It's like Mario Circuit with realistic graphics. That's kind of what I'm getting. Come on! The lightning kind of helped. It at least slows everyone else down. with Dry Bones. See, Dry Bones is like the one character combo I can actually push around, because he's in the Quacker. Cheap Charger's light. It's still heavier than the Quacker. Alright, Dry Bones! 
I'm gonna ask Santa if he can kill you for Christmas. It was so rude. He just he just dropped a bomb on my head. Oh, 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 oh yes. 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 Okay. Okay. I hit the wrong target. I was really trying to hit drive ones with that. It would have been so poetic. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Bye bye! I think I'm off road right now. Not like heavy off road, but just enough that it slows me down a bit, maybe? How am I going 110 in the Chief Charger? So, why is this in kilometers per hour? I'm not playing in Europe. This is America. We use American units. I don't care how many grams something is, I want to know how many slugs something is. <laughs> no. Who uses slugs? Okay, these green shells have got to stop. If I get a bob -omb, I don't think you can in first. How in the world do you take that turn? I have amazing turning and I absolutely did not come close. Oh, sorry, Dry Bones. But now you get to face what I face. <laughs> also, you blew me up very rudely, so I do not care. I think this is a course that would definitely help if you were a bike. Look at all these straightaways. It would probably also help if I was not in, like, one of the slowest carts in the game. Even though I'm going almost 110 kilometers an hour. Okay, this could be a problem. Blooper actually can be dangerous if you don't know the track, but we should be good. That wasn't the giant. <laughs> there are all these different starting lines, but it's not until you get to that one that it's the real starting line. Yay! Oh, good, and Dry Bones did not do well on that race. Sweet. So that puts us just one point behind him. Wow. They're <laughs> the top four are really close together. A bunch of people have ten points, and then... Well, we don't talk about the, the other peons. Okay, that one was very basic, but it, that was a fun course. I, I can get behind it. There's a time and a place for basic. Forest Creek. This could be great. I like forests. I like creeks. I like them both together. Forest Creek. It looks like where Yogi Bear lives. Hey, boo-boo. Uh, all of the power-ups look like picnic baskets. No, not quite. Just regular power-ups. Seems like a pretty basic course, but let's get... Just judging by the mini map. Thank you, DK, for taking the hit. I wish I knew how I could keep doing these low tricks. Ow. Wow, that bounced me back real far. It's because I'm in the cheap charger. Yoink. This is kind of crazy. Oh, no, wait. Oh, that's not. Oh, God. I fell off a cliff to avoid a red shell. I don't think that was a good trade. There's going to be a lot of lightnings in this cup. Hey, Dry Bones. There's also a lot of green shells in this cut. This is an interesting course. Oh, it's shortcut time. This 
bridge seems unsafe for the forest. Just saying. Oh man, if I can save this for the next lap, that would be cool, because then I can take the bigger shortcut by boosting in between the tree branches. That's what I'm all about. It's not up here. It's over where we get to the Wiggler area. Yeah, right here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I hit the banana peel. That's okay. Barely made me lose any speed, because cheap charger. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing a trick off of that anymore. I learned my lesson last time. Well, I learned my lesson on the first one, I guess I should say. Why did Baby Mario just celebrate? I don't think I've dropped, like, any power-ups. No! Come on! If Dry Bowser beats me because of a freaking... No. No. You are not passing that thundercloud off to me. No, you are not! Ha! I hit him at the very end. That's okay. Cool! Oh, sweet! Oh, Dry Bones did not do well that race. Cool. So now Baby Daisy's my main competition, and she's a cool five points behind me, so even if I win third place... Actually, if I win third place and she wins first, the game will say she won, because she won the most recent race. That's okay. I'm at least familiar... I've played the last one, and the last one's really cool. It's Dragonite Island, and it's a Pokemon-themed course with a lot of different Pokemon in it. Now... You're gonna have to bear with me, folks, because I don't know a whole lot of Pokemon. My All my Pokemon knowledge comes from Smash Bros, and I don't even look at their names, I just go based off of what they say. So those are Squirtles. I know the Squirtles because you can play as them as characters. I also know Snorlax because he yells his name when you summon him. I think there's a guy here called Dragonite as well, hence the name of the level. And beyond that, we're... we're uh... Yes, yeah, so Snorlax says hi. Oh, that's an Eevee. I know Eevee. Natch! He's invincible already. Daisy? Not anymore. Oh! <laughs> so now we go into this cool, like, Dragon Cove area where we've got this weird, uh, Dragon Bat who's shooting stuff at us. That guy? Oh, I know that guy. That's a Drackey. Now, normally I know Drackies from uh, Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime. Oh, we got the uh, the Rock Worm guy. Don't know his name, but he's the, he's the rock guy who drops rocks on you from above when you get him in Smash 64. Uh, that's a, um, a Rayquaza. The Squirtles are effectively, um, what do you call them, Cataquacks from Peach Beach, so you gotta watch out for that. Hey, Eevee. I don't know what the Eevees are. Maybe they replaced the Goombas. Yoink! Good, I hit her with it as well. Did you see, like, the instant I went into first, it summoned a blue shell on, on top of me? Not cool. Okay, how many lightnings has that been this cup? I feel like we've gotten two every race. Maybe three. I, lo I love punchy rockets. Alright, see you, Rayquaza. Okay. This is a risk. Okay. That does not work. You cannot boost through Snorlax. He is too fat. I mean, no, it looks like you should be able to get through there. Oh, that's Charmander that we just passed. I recognize him. Man, we are behind. Please give me a good power-up. You want to try knocking me around again? Huh? Huh? Didn't think so. Alright, Punchy Rockin', get out of my way. 
Okay, you can just, like, keep tricking away as you're going down. Alright, as long as Rayquaza and the Squirtles behave. Are you serious? That's the worst. The Squirtles are gonna get us. Oh! The Squirtles got everyone else! Thank you, Squirtle! I'm a baby! That's good, because freaking Baby Daisy was right behind me. Alright, I am getting real tired of the game just constantly throwing blue shells at me, but... We still won overall. That was, that's a really cool course. That's one of the best CTGP courses, I would say. I'm also surprised we did not get hit by the Squirtles at the end. They are vicious. <laughs> Yay, first three. B rank. Yeah, yeah, that adds up. So we had some cool courses here, and we got to be in two carts I'm not usually in, so that's pretty cool. And that is all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Next time... We've facing two more cups, and I think the next two vehicles we will be in are going to be the Piranha Prowler and the Standard Cart Medium. Because we actually haven't been in any of the Standard Carts, and we still have to be in the Standard Bike Small. And maybe the Standard Bike Large as well, I can't remember if I was in either of those, so we're kind of saving the Standards for last. Because they're just so boring. Anyhow, that's what we'll be having the next time. Hope you tune in for that, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.